Hello, Patty here, and this is a quick video on how to install the IceCap K1 Nano on a P Mini 25. It will work exactly the same layout on a P Mini 15, which is right there. And I already have it installed. I have had it for a couple of months, I believe, pretty close to like four months since I got this tank. This is my anemone tank, and I just cleaning it. And I'm gonna show you guys how I go and install it back and this is how you can do when you get your new um your new skimmer so i just cleaned it it's not like perfectly clean i just did a really quick rinse and as you can see here on the bottom just trying to get all the water out so let me take everything out so you guys can see so first what i do and i'm going to give you guys a tip now that we're here doing this um a tip on how to clean this uh the pump so rather than me taking the pump out because the pump is you know i have the cables and everything i leave the pump here and i grab a little specimen i believe it's called a specimen container you can guys can get it on be uh bulk resupply or marine depot salt water aquarium even amazon i will put a link down below on how, where you guys can get it and what i do is i fill it up with our DIY water and i just go and shake it right here and clean it right here let me show you guys Put it right there and i just go and shake it and also you can take this part out and as you can see shake it here clean it make sure you clean everything out and shake it really good and then and as you can see you can you can just leave it there it will not fall and i also grab a q-tip like just those q-tips that you get from like your grocery store or pharmacy and i clean this part out and i just go and clean it and rinse it here and as you can see all this icky water is just stuff that i have been and then right here too on the other side and i just go around and clean it i'm gonna do really quick clean not like a thorough clean by just giving you guys an idea of how like maintaining this uh pump clean because if your the skimmer starts making noises it can be that it's just dirty so make sure you clean like every little part of that skimmer to make sure it's clean and again just give it a shake really good and then put it together and what you can see how to put it together is there is this little right here right there that uh, little thing goes through in this little hole right here so you just put it in right there and you make sure you like tie it real good and make sure it doesn't fall and let me show you guys the water and again this is all that gunk for a couple of months that I haven't cleaned it. Well, maybe like a month, not a couple of months, but yeah, really dirty, icky. And I do our DI water, right? And regular water, just so you know, it's not completely dry or clean. So it's more so I don't get any impurities from the regular water into my tank. So I do it with our DI water. So now that I have here, so when you install it, this is a cable that you get. So you get it to the pump, this goes. It's just right here and then so you get these two parts plus the cup the collection cup so i believe when you get it brand new it will be in a i believe like this so what you want to do and i'm going to show you guys here is it will not fit on your hamburger like this so what you want to do move these and you can do it, just make sure it's not completely tight in here. Make sure it's loose in here. Or you can just move it, you know, up and down. And I normally, how I have it is all the way down here, touching. And what you want to do is you want to rotate it all the way to the other side. Right here. So you can actually go and tight. So you're going to start the, this screw right here. So it stays there and it doesn't move. And it will fit to this side it will fit to this side or you can rotate it or it will fit facing this side we actually put it on the other side facing this side because i have all my filter media on the first chamber it does restrict just a tiny bit of flow. So if I put it on facing this way, it will restrict even more the flow. So what I do is I put it facing the opposite side. 
and then I have here this ma the magnet that comes with it and as you can see I put my light on the third chamber and I face it right on the middle of the tank and what I do is I just slide it right there in between the light and do you see how this failed because I didn't have it tight enough so I just put it all the way up and I make sure I go and it is pretty tight there so it will not move And you don't want it to do it too hard either, because if you do it too much, you might crack this uh, part of the skimmer. And then I slide it slowly down, just a little bit right there. My water level. And just showing you guys how to do it. So now I'm gonna take it off again to show you guys again how to do it. And I'm gonna put the pump, because I didn't put the pump. So let me get this out. The magnet, and I haven't had any problems with the magnet getting all poofy or anything. It works on the water. When I ask around, other people have used it on the water with no problems. So now, for the pump, I go and make sure it's facing right here. There we go. So it's almost touching this back one. And then what you want to do is you want to connect the little hose right here which is silences the pump. That's what it does, this hose right here. And then you put it slowly, as you can see, down here, and you twist it. And then you put your magnet right there and slide it down. And there we go, it's installed. So now I'm going to put the little collection cup on top there we go I make sure that it's secure that it's not sliding down this is how it looks and now let's turn it on and as you can see it's a pretty quiet it's a pretty quiet skimmer oh actually I forget guys let me turn it off I just turned it off. What you want to do, I forgot to put the little cable. I need to take it off again. I forgot to put the cable pump where it goes. So here you have a little, if you can see right there is for the cable pump. So you can go right there and attach your cable pump so it's secure. I want to make sure that this is tight. There we go. All right. And now let's put our schemer back in there. There we go. And let's turn it on. And I just turn it on. And you can barely hear anything. Like the pump is pretty quiet. And then as you can see, it starts to bubble right there. And then what I normally do is I go and I'm gonna lower it a bit. There we go. And then if you see that it's a little bit tilted, what I do is I grab here and I just go and move. There we go. Right here is pretty much how you control it. High increases the water. Let me show you. So it increases the water. And then when it goes right there, then I go this side, low, to lower the water. And that's pretty much it. So what you wanna do is you wanna put it right around there, maybe a little bit high. And then you wanna wait. You wanna give it some time so the bubbles actually go and dial in, and then the bubbles will be thicker and thicker and it will come up here and the bubbles break and that's how it collects all of the particles from your tank. So I'm right now going and dialing it. 
you will also see a little bit of micro bubbles. Not sure if you can see it there, but that is normal. It will last for a couple of hours. Even 24 hours is fine. Normally it just lasts for a few hours until the skimmer is dialed in. Do not worry if after a couple of hours, up to 24 hours, you still have micro bubbles. Definitely uh, check and make sure and make sure that everything is working and uh, this little hose right here is properly connected to the pump and also if for if you have something on your mid chamber on your water box make sure that it's not having any issues or like blocking the pump or anything i will suggest not to have anything on your mid chamber i have all of my filter media here on the first chamber and then my skimmer here, and then my heater and my return pump on the third chamber. If you wanna know more information about my anemone tank, definitely check it out my other videos where I talk a lot about my anemone tank. So as you can see, the water is right there. So what I do is I'm gonna put it a little bit higher, and this will take a couple of hours to dial in. So what I do is I put it a bit higher until it hits right there, and then I open this and I check and see as long as the bubbles are coming out and I leave it like that. Then in a couple of hours, it might lower a bit or it might get higher and then I will just adjust it. And you just wanna do micro adjustments every couple of hours, depending on how it goes. So what you wanna do is to have bubbles to go all the way up here and then, so there we go, like that. So you wanna have them all the way to this inner uh, tube and then they will pop right here and all of the stuff will come right here. All of the gunk will go right here. So at the beginning, it's gonna be really light color, even clear and it's fine, like cloudy water. And then as it dials in, you will get that nice thick brown gunk. But it does take a couple of days and there you go. So right now I will leave it like this and check back in a couple of hours and do micro adjustments if needed. Let's increase it just a little bit. So what I do is like, as you can see, really a small and check, and it's almost hitting that. So I'm gonna do a little bit more. There we go. So what I do is like this much of a micro adjustment and check out the change. So you don't wanna do too big of micro adjustments. You wanna do really small. Let's do one more. There you go. That's how you want it to do it. Maybe a little more, and there you go. So when you put the lid, the lid also helps breaking those bubbles. And there we go. So what you do not want to have it is having, and let me show you guys, I'm gonna do it really, let's say crazy micro adjustment. Let's just say a really fast micro adjustment. And this is what you don't want to have it, is to be going like that. You don't want a ton of water. Let me clean this. So this is what you don't want to. You don't want a lot of stuff, a lot of bubbles like that. You want big bubbles. So I'm gonna lower it and see how fast it fills up. So you definitely wanna keep an eye on it and make sure that when you're doing this, it's in a day that you have time to keep an eye on the skimmer because this, you know, it's a really small collection cup. It can fill up really quick. So as you guys can see, I lower it. All right guys, I'm back and I cleaned it even better to show you guys. And what I did is I cleaned it with a paper towel, just a damp paper towel, and I just clean it. Just letting you guys know how to clean it to, to get it really nice and clean like it is right now, after you have used it. So now I can show you guys. So if you guys see these bubbles, these bubbles are really like micro, really small bubbles. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna do another micro adjustment. And do you see, do you wanna see that? Where it's just really big bubbles almost going and overflowing right there. See, that you don't wanna see because it's definitely gonna overflow your cup and it overflows really fast. So as you can see, I'm doing really small micro adjustments. I'm waiting and do you see? So it does take some, you know, a couple of seconds for it to go and lower down the level. So, and see how it's now increasing again without me doing anything. So that's pretty much dialing it in and it will take you a couple of hours. Definitely keep an eye on it. Do not, you know, have other plans. Maybe like on a Sunday afternoon, you have no plans and you want to do this. Definitely is the best time to do it. So 
let me do you see how now it got lower without me touching it now i'm going to maybe increase it a little bit and see what happens and do you see even if i increase it lower it lower down so i'm going to wait and see what happens but do you see how the bubbles get a bit thicker like bigger bubbles and that's what you want to see so what i'm going to do is i'm going to increase it a little bit and see what happens and that's what i want to see i want to see really thick big bubbles i'm going to adjust it put it a little bit higher and that's what i want to see do you see those really nice thick bubbles that's what i want to see by going all the way to the top a little bit higher and pretty much through a couple of hours you want to do this because as you can see also lowers it again and this is pretty much dialing it in put it a bit higher and do you see how the bubbles go all the way up and add a bit thicker and that's what i want to do and thicker is more like really big bubbles so here's the same skimmer on a 10 gallon all in one this is my mix reef and you can install it pretty much the same way that i installed it on the peninsula mini 15 and the 25 and this is pretty much what you want to see a big bubble breaking on the top and then all the particles, they burst, bubbles burst and all the particles will go and start collecting on the cup. And that is normal that the cup gets dirty. You just have to make sure to clean it. So after a few hours, you will see that it's going to be like light brown and that's completely normal. It will every day get darker and darker until it gets like really, really dark brown. And that's when it's like optimal schemate color and that is working properly and as you can see this is normal you will get all these bubbles in here and as you can see we see some already particles in there and some like, stuff in there on the inner tube that's completely normal that's pretty much what we want to see rather than staying on your tank this is what the skimmer does it gets all of that uh, particles out of your tank and into that skimmer cup so this is pretty much what you want to see and again, this is normal. Color will slowly get darker and darker as it dials in. And that's pretty much a dial skimmer. It took about, right now, is around 18 hours after the initial install. Again, it's a install after I cleaned the whole unit. So it's pretty much not starting for um, day one, but I do need to redial it. So there we go. And also, if you guys can see, it's a really quiet unit. And this is pretty much what you want to hear, almost like nothing. And then you can also go and get a little airplane and put it on top. And there we go. We have accessorized our skimmer to look pretty. <laughs> Also, if you head over to my Instagram highlights, you can check out how I installed and dialed this skimmer when I first got it. Do please notice the noise between when I'm really close to the skimmer and when I'm farther back. The noise definitely decreases, so do know that the noise that you hear here on this video is a little bit more louder just because I have my video recording device really close to the skimmer. Thank you so much for watching this video and please let me know if you have any questions or any comments or anything that you would like to add about installing the IceCap K1 Nano Skimmer to your nano tanks and stay awesome, take care!